Hey guys, it's your boy V back with more multi-trade content and today we are taking a look at Ghost Rider vs Loki in Alliance Battle Legend. We did Thanos vs Loki before, obviously people are waiting for the blackboard comparison but sadly I don't have a brilliant or I should say the exact same build to test blackboard right now. But we tested blackboard and the Ghost Rider before so it should not be a humongous difference between both of the characters. So let me just show you the builds. So uh, the reason why I'm doing this right now is uh, because I'm going to show you three runs and I actually posted the uh, mentioned the IGN. Also, you can check the account that I'm showing the builds on. I will try and do this from now on that every single run or every single stat that I show you, I will add the in game name so you can check the account out if you want to. So you guys don't get confused which run is which one because i will be showing you three runs in this video the two of the runs are going to be on uh, my buddy's yonix account which is obviously for the comparison ghost rider versus loki then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna switch to my account which is i'm gonna do it right now which is the kosh one two three four five account and i'm gonna show you my own run with my loki and obviously i don't have the you know that crazy cards like on yonix and other top players but I tried to make the most out of it. So uh, this is the build that I'm looking for, looking at right now, Twilight's Blessings. I do not have uh, the artifact, sadly. So I'm still waiting for the next month's event so I can get his artifact. So I'm basically running with Valkyrie Force artifact with Destruction Instinct and Instinct Accuracy, which should help me out a little bit. And then I actually have obviously the 301 Brilliant Ray that I got from the, Bla uh, from the Black Friday Bingo. You know, so this is how my build looks like. Uniform options are very easy to get. Most of them were very useful, so I had them. The cards, I have about 131.2 or something energy attack and the proc. That's what I have, obviously, since I changed my cards. Swords, I am kind of lacking behind. I don't have that good sword, 22%, 22.5% attack only. But that should not be a big deal once I hit the anniversary. I'm going to get the, the swords later. So about the Loki's rotation, there are a few ways you can play it. Either you can go with the three, usual three, five, one, four. If you do this, if you use four skills, you can charge up and rage proc on your mighty or brilliant uh, rages uh, every rotation. Okay, then you can go two cancel in the end. And the main here is going to be the second, uh, the first skill actually that you use twice every rotation. One more way to actually do this is actually uh, spamming all the skills in the rotation. I've tried a bunch of stuff actually with Loki. It's kind of uh, all everything like works about the same. So you can spam everything in the start. So just to just to get the Surter to charge towards you, then you can go into the normal rotation. That's also something you can do. And this is also like one of the ways that you can play basically 1354 into the second skill i found this one to be the best one because you don't have to worry about the first skill charge up the first skill kind of really screws you up sometimes okay apart from that everything is about the same uh, it's not big difference absolutely uh, you have to worry about and you have to pay obviously good attention to the tier 4 charge up that will be something but I don't like the tier 4 skill sadly it's a, it's a really bad skill i don't like it look as you can see i do have the buff on if i if i just uh, turn it on if i turn on the ai you will see i get hit obviously i don't have the hp bar once you have the hp bar in world boss legend other content you will see eight numbers on that and the numbers will go down uh, slowly with each hit that is the damage taken accumulation from the tier 4 skill sadly uh, it's good and bad at the same time. Sadly, because it's damage accumulation, you have to wait to get hit sometimes. And a lot of times you don't get hit at all while playing tier 4 Loki. And this is why I don't like the tier 4. I wish it was different. Like they gave him accumulation finally, but it, it is a damage taken accumulation. And yes, he's awesome, but the score also kind of varies a lot. Anyways, first of all, I'm going to show you my own run. I'm going to start off with the, the uh, 3, 5, 1, 4 into the second skill rotation. Uh, you have to use 3 rotation in the start, okay? Then we go 3, uh, tier 4 should be charging up. As you can see, I'm using 4 skills every rotation. So 3, 5, 1, 4 every rotation 
uh, reason you can see my all the three perks are activating at the same time the third one the very left one is actually the enrage perk the the right one actually is the uh, insight the no the middle one actually is the rage proc and the enrage proc is the very last one now you can see i actually did the rotation slightly early so i was not able to charge the enrage so this happens sometimes it's like it's not something to worry about uh, you can't have a perfect one loki it's really really extremely hard so now you will see that we will do this rotation we will delay the first light the first orb is gonna drop you can see right here the orb will drop i'll have certain to dash here so i don't collect the orb i will collect the orb after this rotation so we do this we go here and we collect the orb sadly it was too far okay the closer you have the better but if you have it closer you can also collect it with the four skill which is kind of worse so <laughs> it's how it is the mobs are not around i'm gonna lose so many points so loki is annoying af absolutely but now i'm kind of getting you know good uh, consistent score i will not say extremely consistent but i do not do not have the score difference that i used to have when i started playing him so i'm kind of happy with that but the mobs around definitely are gonna be the main deal here maybe you can save the tier 3 skill if you want to but doesn't make a big difference so anyways we will do this and you will see around the second rower uh, around the second light phase i should say around like 30 second marker i was trying to actually delay the rower just like we did on the first light you know right here you will see after like two or three rotations the orb should appear what happened is because the fourth skill moves just like cable you might be able to collect the light with the fourth skill and you will see after this one so this rotation i really wanted to delay the light but what happens is look at here the ball actually came really close so i was able to collect it with the fourth skill which is also uh, which might be the best way to play this guy now i really want to try if i delay all the rowers like if i delay all the light phases do i get the best score then or if i do this then i get the best score so i actually wanted the 12 million score right now for the tier 4 materials i was really <laughs> eagerly waiting for that and we look at that the score I, we just passed 12 million i was able to get the tier 4 materials without the artifact so <laughs> i'm happy i was able to get the tier 4 materials now let me show you the yonex account and we will do the comparison between ghost rider and as well as this uh, one thing to keep in mind by the way ghost rider is about maybe 1 million points down i would say in this season because we are using captain marvel to cancel the roar for fracture for snare i believe uh, ghost rider does have snare so we can uh, also ghost rider does have uh, thor as a striker so with thor striker ghost rider gains a lot on the other seasons so i do think the score will definitely drastically increase for ghost rider and i will try and do a comparison for uh, maybe ghost rider maybe not we will see about that because most of us actually have switched to ghost rider uh, brilliant judgment or at least cdp of judgments uh, a lot of us actually especially after i made that video because that actually gave us a better increase overall because as a striker brilliant judgment ghost rider scores about the same in abx and in abl as a striker for other characters as a main character i tried uh, brilliant judgment is about 600 maybe 700k less uh, i would say compared to a brilliant rage 301 so rage is definitely better for lines better legend i tried it maybe i'll do a video later down the line uh, i was able to get a mediocre run i would say not insanely good but a mediocre run with my with the ghost Rider with the brilliant judgment 700 type so maybe i do a comparison uh, against the 301 rage later on we will see about that so anyways we will be catching this up and he's doing good like i find kind of you know ghost rider i find slightly easier to play than loki now because maybe because i've been playing with ghost rider and i've done so much practice with him that i find him easier sadly i won't even use him anymore because uh well because we are going to be using loki for most of us actually so that that's how it is 
and about the question like i'm not sure i think i'll just cover that question in the end of the comparison uh, and i have some information to share to you guys about building loki should you build loki should you be investing in loki and what are the conditions that you have to met to actually do that now ghost rider i think i've not never told you guys that this is the main one okay so this one is the main so i'm gonna be holding the second skill slightly collect the light and then start with the tier 4 rotation right here this is the best way to play ghost rider okay this is where i made the most points uh every light phase we delay the first light phase because we want the tier 3 skill to start the light phase that's why same thing we did here we already had the tier 3 that's why we started because of uh, because if we did not uh, and the cooldown of ghost rider skills are very long it can definitely hurt you and we are able to do about 12.78 12.8 million with ghost rider absolutely the snare season this it the score will go close to 14 maybe so now loki it was hard <laughs> I wouldn't say this was not my best run, not at all. Absolutely, there were there are things that maybe we can improve. There are things we can do uh, with this guy, and like I'm, I'm like slowly learning how to actually exactly play him right. Uh, sadly, the fact is, uh, as you can see, I've kind of used my tier four skill right here, so I have to stay. And you can see the hits I'm getting hit, so that is the damage tick uh, accumulation that I'm getting. I'm not sure if uh, waiting and getting all the 8 hits in for maximum accum accumulation is better than just spamming the normal, you know, the usual rotations. Because if you don't use the usual rotation, you lose points. You lose 1 uh, tier 4 if possible, like it can happen, or normal rotation, depending on the sort of charging up. So I believe that uh, get hit as much as you can but also do not break the timing of the rotation that is the main one so you can see here what happened was actually i was able to collect it with the four skills still as i said i wanted to delay it so that's why maybe i think that uh, i should have gotten a better score overall so i collected with the four skill i wanted to delay it but still let's just let's just move on <laughs> sometimes i don't i just don't even care about this thing so we are about 7.8 it's not bad I would say uh, like I could have gone higher maybe but I think we would end up about the same score with delayed light as well so it's not gonna be a big difference I think the main thing is gonna be the collect with the fourth skill I believe uh, but we will see I forgot how this run went because I think I spent the whole la last night literally practicing and running low-key and finding the best spots to score so yeah you know things happen <laughs> Uh, the good thing is that i learned loki uh, i kind of feel more comfortable playing him now i do feel that i can score consistently now which is great the second the fourth skill absolutely can help you with the uh, collect he's gonna go there he's gonna go there okay he's gonna come here I, <laughs> i'm just trying to keep him to the center now let's see if i delayed or if i collect it i think like if i collect it that's gonna be better and yes obviously we were able to delay it sadly i did not did not want to delay no look at that i did not want to delay i wanted to collect with the fourth skill and i do think if i collected it would have been better anyways we will go through this run and this was i think one of the i think this like the score i'm getting right now in this run i'm getting consistently so we're over 13 million right now and I'm gonna use delay cancel tier 3 and I was able to get 13.51 but that was not the best score I got 13.74 the run I could not record the recorder was actually off sadly so I could not show you so 13.74 was the best I could get with a four star artifact uh, 14 is definitely in but it's gonna be very hard without a six star artifact so the verdict or I would say the uh, summary or conclusion about this and what i wanted to say is loki is better but it's gonna be deciding uh on the scenario scenario season scenario yeah scenario season that ghost rider how much actually ghost rider catches up with loki i think ghost rider and loki will be about the same on the scenario season maybe ghost rider could be slightly higher or loki can be slightly higher 
So I, I don't think it's a, it's going to be a humongous difference. I think Ghost Rider and Loki will be exactly or about the same on the snare season. And more on that, we find out in the next episode of Cautious Masterclass in Marvel Future Fight. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for making these videos interesting. Obviously, I love the comments and everything. Thank you so much for the support. Give this video a like if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe to the channel if you already have not. And as always, if you do enjoy the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one. Damn, Ghost Rider looks sick in slow motion, dude. It looks cool, actually, right? Yeah.